Hi, how are you? I'm checking in. I have booked a stay for one week. Hi, how are you? Oh, it's a little welcome drink. Was it mint mystique? It's, yeah, it's a mint and lemon drink. So mint and lemon, okay. We grow the mint that on JW Garden. Okay, you very can nice. Check it out once you go. Thank you yes. so much. Okay, mint mystique, guys. Is it a shot? It looks like a shot. Should I just down it? Is this a shot? It's not a shot. Okay, uh, it's just not a shot. I'm going to sip it. Yeah, very minty. Minty and lemony. I really like your videos, sir. Oh, really? Okay, thank you. My passport. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I arrived at like 1.30 p.m. I did request an early check-in, but uh, yeah, they can't provide it, so they're giving me a room to relax in while they get my room ready in a couple of hours. So that's nice. I don't have to wait around here in the, in the lobby. Okay. That's already the third floor. Third floor. It's 325. 325, okay. And someone okay. will call me when the, the yes, other room is ready. Yes, we will send someone upstairs to the room. We'll okay. Get you the keys for the book category, the room you have it. Okay. If okay. you need any tea or coffee, we can no, send it across That's your room. fine. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank Cheers. You All right. Okay, guys. So. Yeah, they just told me about this lounge. Usually these executive lounges, it will be like free food and drink in the evening. But this one, they have a high tea, like 2.30 p.m. It's usually high tea is like what we call in Britain afternoon tea, where you get all these little sandwiches and uh, all that kind of affair. And it's uh, usually nice. If you had seen my video from the QE2 in Dubai, I had uh, afternoon tea there. Okay, 3.25 is my temporary room. Hi, afternoon. Okay, so guys, at least I'll be able to see the difference between the ordinary rooms and the room that I booked, which is slightly more expensive. So this is an ordinary room here, guys. We've got the nice big working desk. That's what your man likes. Oh, I feel like getting my laptop out right now, but I don't want to get all unpacked just to have to pack up again in two hours. That's, that's the problem. Okay, not much of a view going on. We're on the third floor, so yeah, it's probably not the the best room. It's probably rooms with views of the seaside. Let me turn the TV off, guys. There we go. Yeah, uh, there's probably rooms that have very nice, I don't know, balconies and such. Like, we'll see what we end up getting, guys. But what I'm paying for this hotel is three hundred dollars a night, slightly more than three hundred dollars a night, actually, which is very expensive for India but I found that the last time I was in Mumbai and I was looking at hotels they were all very expensive and now after being in Delhi and being in Kolkata and having a browse at the different hotels available in Mumbai I can tell you that Mumbai hotels are like double priced compared to Kolkata or compared to Delhi it's like what you get for your money is like you know you're paying double for it so I'm paying $300 a night and I'm pretty sure this room it wasn't any cheaper than $250 a night guys so yeah like this would be like a hundred hundred and twenty five dollar a night room in Kolkata really so that's just the way of it if you come to Mumbai all the money in India is in Mumbai this is where Bollywood is all of that so uh yeah guys yeah um you're gonna be spending a bit more and I'm here for a week in this hotel so yeah one week in a nice hotel but it's obviously not the best hotel in the world, but a nice, nice hotel is going to cost me over 2,000 bucks. So, yeah, 2,000 bucks for one week in India. If you're thrifty, you could travel for two months across the whole of India for that amount of money. But, uh, yeah, I'm chilling here for a week. And, yeah, I don't know what I should do. Should I just leave my stuff here and go explore the gym and the pool and all that, the beach? Maybe I should. Maybe I should get my... Uh, my uh, water shoes on and go for a wee dip in the sea. I think that's what people do here. They don't go swimming, they just dip their feet in the sea. In fact, I was just putting sun cream on to go and do that and they've buzzed the door saying the room is available already. So I'll get my stuff together and we'll go check that out. Okay, now I have everything. Okay, so what floor are we on? On the highest level. The highest level, good. Nice just one. five floors. That's oh, you only have five floors, okay. Five floor. okay. Welcome to your room, sir. Oh, nice one. So this is the larger room. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, it's much nicer. May I? A lot more space. Okay, yeah, very you nice. Can open the curtains for you? Oh, no, it's fine. Okay, so we're facing... Oh, we're facing onto the beach. Yes. Oh, wow, and the pool down there. Oh, that looks magnificent, that pool. 
Wow. Okay. Very nice. And okay, thank you so much. That is that. Here's thank the next truck key for you. Yeah. And here's my card. My name is Ujwala. I'm the duty manager here. Do okay. let me know in case you need anything. Thank you so much. Some tea, coffee, anything that you want me to send. That's card. fine. I'll go for high tea at 2.30. Perfect. Sir. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, thank yes, you. Good day, okay, that's good. Yeah, this room is uh, a lot bigger and nicer. And so is the view, guys. Check that out. It's going to be nice to... Oh, that guy is like standing right on the edge of that, that wet uh, balcony area there. Oh my word. Yeah, like they could rooms could only be better if they actually had had actually balconies. That guy is just standing on this ledge, actually. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, there is. You can actually get out. Can you get out? Can you get out of here? Yeah, I think that's just for the, the staff to get out and, and clean. Like what that guy's doing. That is pretty, pretty dangerous. Let me turn the TV off. There we go. Much better. I'm liking this, guys. I'm liking this room, this larger room. It was only like 10, 20% more expensive than a normal room. They just called this larger room on the Marriott website. So I just thought, you know, it's going to be the same room, but a little bit bigger. But this is uh, a lot better. There's an actual bathtub in there as well. So the last one didn't have a bathtub, and it was kind of like the. Um, Oh look, see, I've got my own like storage closet here. It's a much bigger room. It's not just a larger room. It's like a, well, not a suite or anything like that, but it's, uh, you know, getting towards that. It's getting towards it almost being a suite. So yeah, the last bathroom is kind of like integrated into the room. This is separated, which is nicer, isn't it? Separated and there's a bathtub. The same shower with a nice big overhead. Rain shower with like 200 individual jets right there. Aye, I, I like this. I like this room. This is nice. Okay, guys, so what is the plan? Oh, the plan might be this right here. What is this that they've given your man? A little chocolate cake. A little, uh... oh, actually, that seems kind of dense. I don't know if I should munch this now. I'm going to try and uh, visit the executive lounge. They've got um, high tea at 2.30. So, what time is it now? It is 10 past 2. I, I guess I'll just get unpacked here, guys, and then uh, I'll get the high tea, and then we'll go explore outside. We'll go explore the beach, which looks... Uh, there's a bunch of people on there. Nobody's swimming. It is an Indian beach. But, um, yeah, can't wait to go and check that out. In fact, before I do anything else, I'm going to sort out this minibar situation here. This is the hotel's own minibar, but you know your man does not like to consume from the hotel's own minibar because they have extortionate prices such as aerated beverages, basically a can of coke, 400 plus tax, so 500 rupees, about $6 for one can of juice. No, 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 your man's smarter than that. Your man's using Blinkit. Blinkit is a grocery delivery app, so in five minutes there's going to be a man in the front of my hotel with a bag full of 40 rupees Coke Zeros, actually less because they've got a discount on the app, like 35 rupees Coke Zero and protein bars and all that kind of stuff, so yeah, let's go down and meet him. Okay, I think perfect timing. According to the map, he's just rocking up at the gate, so I've been using Blinkit and other hotels and they never let them they never let them stop there and give the goods to the concierge like they do in some other countries it's just the way of it they always let them uh, park outside the main gate so in some hotels that's a bit of a hassle like this one because the gate is far away from the the entrance but he should be sitting there waiting for me Guys, where will Blinkit normally wait? Out there? Blinkit. Blinkit. Blinkit? Yeah, he will normally wait there or, or go inside. Blinkit. Do they wait here or they go up? See? Yeah. Blinkit. Blinkit. Yeah, no, normally outside or up? Blinkit. Blinkit. Zomato, Blinkit, oh, Swiggy. Do they wait here or they go up? No, no, you here. go there, up. Yeah? Otherwise, outside you stand here. What? You call him? No, I cannot call, no number. I have to... Usually he will wait here. Uh, no? One minute. Usually what happens, usually. Your room number, sir? Room number uh, 540. Uh, 
Zomato? He, no, yeah, Blinket. Like Grofer, Grofer. Grofer. Yeah. Uh, he says he's here. Let me check. Maybe he's here. Nah, I'm not seeing my guy here at all. Maybe... Maybe they've let him up. Maybe they've let him up. I don't know. I, I don't think those guys speak much English, the security dudes. I'll go... Uh, it says he's right here on the map anyway, so... I don't know, but he's not He's not at the main gate like in, in other hotels. The problem is, guys, I don't have a phone number linked to this app. So this app, it only lets you enter an Indian phone number for your contact details. I don't have an Indian phone number, I'm on data roaming. So I've put the hotel's phone number in as like the contact number. So that's the problem, is that if he can't find me, he's gonna be phoning the hotel. Uh, he has my room number, so hopefully uh, he would just give the goods to the hotel. I've already paid for it online, so. <sighs> oh, that's it there. Okay, thank you. Danny bad, Danny bad. Uh, I had to give him an OTP though, so I know where the driver's here. Hi, it's my blanket. 540, room 540. 540? Uh, driver, he's gone already? Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, okay, I need to give him an OTP, but he didn't come. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay. Huh? Dale. Okay, thank you. Well, that was a lot more difficult than it needed to be. A lot more difficult than it usually is. I've used that app about 10 times and it's been a lifesaver in India. It's just the issue of me not being able to call the driver or him not being able to call me. With like Uber and other apps, you can message or call the driver through the app, not in this one. He has to phone your phone number and they don't let you use an international phone number. So. I'm kind of stuck. Oh, they're calling me. I, that's what I thought would happen. He would call the hotel. Hello? Sorry, uh, the OTP is 0470. Yes, thank you. You got it, okay, thanks, bye. Okay, so yeah, that's what I thought was gonna end up happening, is he's only got the hotel's phone number, because that's what I've entered into the app. And he, uh, he phoned the hotel and they've put him through to me and I've told him the OTP, so. Uh, yeah, I was worried. I was worried about him because I had got my goods, but I was thinking about the guy, thinking it still says oh, delivery is on the way, but hey, I've gave him a tip and uh, yeah, I gave him a nice tip, so through the app. Uh, yeah, so that's that done. That's uh, Like I said, that's way more difficult than it usually is. I think there was just some confusion that they let him up and drop the goods at concierge, which all the other hotels in India haven't allowed the drivers to do. They've always made them wait outside, so... Yeah, now I know the system at this hotel, I'm probably going to have to use this app a few times. It's just a pain uh, that they don't accept, uh, they don't accept international number. Okay, so yeah, I've just basically got a big bag full of Coke Zero and um, protein bars and protein chips and mango lassi drinks and Bananas! I got bananas not realising the hotel have provided me with a little fruit ball, but I'll just top it up right there. Maybe I'll find something else to top it up when I'm roaming around outside. But um, yeah, I think it's like... Oh, it's well after 2.30pm right now. Oh, it's like 3.20pm. I'm wasting a lot of time, guys. But that's... Uh, the mini bar situation is important. When you come back at night and you just want to relax in your hotel, you need a few nice snacks and drinks. Anyway, your man's gonna get uh, changed. I'm gonna dress up all smart, and by all smart, I mean I'm gonna put a pair of long pants on rather than short pants. And we'll go to this executive lounge for high tea. Hi, room 540. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, very nice. Okay, so let's see if there are some snacks available or not. Looks like people are having drinks. I don't see anybody with uh, food in front of them. Ah, here we go. This is what they've got right here. Little uh, bruschetta things, little sandwiches, mini baguettes, mini sandwiches, some scones, all that kind of stuff, guys. Okay, and a uh, load of plate. Okay, this is nice. Got my little sandwiches. 
little baguettes. So these are baguettes with uh, little crispy baguettes with smoked chicken and chives. There's like some vegetarian, I think it's just coleslaw that's in there. And then for the for the cakes, the cakes look actually very nice because we've got some scones there guys, some scones with raisins. I think they've actually got the cream inside them. No, they don't. So I got some jam, yeah, I don't see any cream. Usually with scones in the UK, we would eat them with some clotted cream or something like that, but yeah. It's a nice wee snack before I go explore the beach, guys. Mm. And it looks like they'll have more food. Oh wow, just fill it to the brim with milk. It looks like they'll uh, have more food in the evening. Guys, they've got like a little um, hot station over there. So that's usually the way it is in executive lounges. Usually you can come in the afternoon and it's like, um, usually it's just drinks and then a couple of nibbles. Sometimes uh, you get something a little bit more substantial, like some nice uh, big filled sandwiches and stuff like that. Those uh, chicken chicken chive things were good. I could just eat like 20 of them and that would be my lunch, guys. Yum. Tea milkshake. And I seen uh, another guy cleaning the windows while I was in my room. There was another guy or cleaning the ledges here. He was standing on the ledge and what I noticed is there's these hooks and he was actually like hooked onto it by a rope for safety. So oh, there's another one there. Yeah, so it didn't look like it from where I was standing, but they're like harnessed up, so no need to worry about the guy's safety. Also, I did a speed test on the hotel Wi-Fi and it was exactly 35 megabits up and down, so I'm pretty happy with that. A lot of, a lot of nice hotels, even like expensive, expensive hotels, you get terrible internet speeds, even in this day and age. Believe it or not, like hotels just don't seem to understand the importance of fast internet but here it's 35 up and down i think that's the the best i've had so far on this trip to india so yeah i'm pleased with that pleased with these scones as well yum yum <sighs> yum yum guys yum yum okay that was a nice week sweet pick me up after the early morning flight from kolkata Guys, I'm gonna get out there and explore. I'll see you out there at the pool or the beach. Well, I haven't made it out to the pool and beach just yet, guys. I was getting changed. I was gonna get into my shorts and my water shoes when the door went. Ding dong. It was the guest relations manager bringing me a bouquet of flowers. So the first time ever in my life that uh, a girl has given me flowers. That is, that there's a first time for everything. I've given plenty of girls flowers before. I've, uh, I've never received them, so that is very nice. And I've got a little uh, flower pot right there. I think I might be able to like, put them in and keep them uh, all nice. They are very nice. Check that out. They also brought me another fruit bowl. So I've got two fruit bowls now and a little uh, Chocolate. There's a little photo frame made of chocolate. Edible. It's another edible deal, just like in the um, ITC hotel. I've got a little uh, edible uh, thing with some kind of like chocolate granola stuff and some chocolate bars. So yeah, I'm well. Uh, I'm well supplied with sweet treats in my new room, guys, and nice smelling flowers. That's lovely. Anyway, I really am now going to. Says a wee card. Oh yeah, I've got two cards. I think that's I think that's the original one. Oh, okay, yeah, I've got another one that they've look very nice handwriting. Um from Janvi, Gatti and Puja. That is uh that is very nice. Anyway, I really am gonna check out the pool. It's probably just as well that I'm leaving it so long, less chance of me getting sunburnt, but it's like quarter past four right now, guys. I'm finally gonna go and uh check out the pool and beach. Okay, this is the awesome pool that I've been looking down at from my room, which will be one of those on the top floor, one of the, the center ones. So yeah, I definitely got one of the best rooms in the hotel for sure. One of the best, probably five rooms as far as the view goes. Anyway, uh, yeah, this is the pool. That's only one dude has this whole pool to himself. Usually it's your man. 
It's usually it's your man that has the whole pool to himself, guys. But today it's that man. It's that man that's got the whole pool to himself, right? I want to get to the beach. So there's all these signs here. And beach access is this way. But to go that way, I need to cut across the, the pool. Ah, oh, for the beach? This way. Ah, Leading okay. Is down, ah, okay. That makes more sense. I have to go this way, yeah, then that way. Yeah, so most people just... Most people just hanging out here. But your man trying to find the beach. Guys. Huh. I thought this would just like lead right out onto the beach, but I don't know. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, it must be because there's all this for the people to wash the sand off their feet when they come back. Foot wash and all that. Ah, okay, so this is the access here. It's like a lock gate. Uh, this way, yeah? yeah. For the beach? Uh, 540. Ah, okay, so there's a security procedure to get in and out. So when I come back, I just knock on yeah, the door. Yeah, ring the bell. Oh, there's a bell. Oh, okay, that's good. So yeah, the staff did say this is the only hotel on this beach that has a direct access, and it is direct. Check it out. Okay, yeah, it is direct. Oh, it's a bell there. Okay, there's a rope there that you ring to get back into the hotel. But this is nice. Wow, there's loads of people, guys. There's so many people, and this is so huge. Check it out, let me just pan around. It is a bit windy, I'm sorry if the audio is affected by that, guys. But look at this, just so many people enjoying this uh, lovely public beach. The sand is nice and clean. And it looks like this is just a... Uh, I better remember where that is. It's kind of, there's not like huge sign or anything. It is like kind of like hidden away. But I'll just remember what this looks like. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... Like Indian beaches are very different to beaches in Europe or where Europeans normally go. Like if you've seen a beach in the south of Spain, for example, there would be loads of people sunbathing, trying to get a tan. Instead, you've got people uh, wearing like jeans and shirts and stuff like that. Nobody's really trying to get darker here, guys. They're dark enough. The Indians are dark enough. They're not trying to darken their skin even more. The uh, yeah, you'd also see a lot of people swimming. So like, look at how many people there are, guys, and you can see there's exactly zero people, zero people swimming. Apart from maybe that guy in his jeans. The man swimming in his jeans. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think the main reason, oh, your man, your man wearing the water shoes. He learned his lesson from uh, Chennai. The beach in Chennai when I went with my hiking shoes right down to the beach and got soaked. Some, some, uh, I was walking along like kind of like this area. I just one massive wave came and uh, drenched your man's feet. But uh, yeah, nobody's swimming because uh, it's because of the water cleanliness, I think. I think some people would be swimming if the water was clean, but it's a city beach so. Any beach near a big city is not going to be, uh, it's not going to be clean, the water, is it? So, uh, yeah, there's that. And the fact that very few Indians can swim, like, uh, it's not like in the UK, almost everybody can swim, right? You learn in school, almost everybody will learn as part of their education how to swim. But uh, here it's not really the case. And you can see we're very close to the airport. There is, uh, looks like an Air India flight taking off right there. Yeah, it was only like a 15 minute drive. The airport is like, you know, I don't know, four kilometers that way or something. But uh, yeah, today is Sunday guys, and look how many, look how many people out enjoying this beach. So on the drive up here, on the drive up here, I was uh, having a look. The guy came from that direction and it's mostly like a residential area down this way. It's kind of like hotels and yeah, some apartment buildings, but some mansions as well. Like some people have like one big house right next to the beach. Like some of these buildings down there. I don't know if they have direct access. Like the hotels definitely don't because they told me that one is the only one with direct access. But yeah, like all along that strip, basically that beach strip, it's a uh, it's residential area. There wasn't any shops or anything like that. I don't know about uh, that way, but you can see how big this 
You can see how big this Juhu beach is guys, it's absolutely massive. Wow, somebody making something there. Can you guess what he might be making? A uh, turtle I think. Tortoise. Tortoise. Yeah, tortoise or a turtle, probably a turtle because it's next to the sea. But that's what he's making, right there. Turtle! Hi sir. Hi, uh, how are you? Ah, uh, no, uh, no boat rides, that's okay. Just Today's going for a walk. Discount, sir. Oh, today's discount? discount. Uh, how much? Per percent parasailing, yeah. 1500. 1500, yeah, what's the discount? Yes, 1%. Yeah, what is the discount? And a jet ski ride. Yeah. And dragon ride. Yeah. And uh, horse ride. Oh, horse ride, that's not a horse. Horse ride. That's horse. not a horse. <laughs> I've taken horse rides, I'm experienced with horse rides, that's not a horse. Yes, come, come sir. Come. No, no, it's okay, not today, today just walking, maybe another today, day, okay? Today, today is off us. Ah, okay, thank you. Oh, wow, just uh, any, any time I stop, there seems to be like, what's up? Uh, no, I won't come here. No, I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, so any time I, any time I stop anywhere in India to talk to somebody, a big crowd appears, what? These people, these people. Okay, no, 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 I'm gonna go for a walk. I've got photographers. Yes, there's some business going on here, but no stalls. It's not like that beach in um, Chennai where there was guys selling pani puri, fried fish, guys selling seashells. Oh, there is, there is a few vendors there, a guy selling some kind of chips right there. But uh, I think they're probably doing that uh, legally. I think, um, or who knows, they might have a license to do this, but it was all more formally set up down at the, um, the other big beach in India. This beach is massive. I can't believe how big this is. Like, look at this. Huge. Now oh, there are some vendors down here, guys. Some samosa vendor. And just guys selling little knickknacks like fans and footballs and stuff for the beach. Gorilla mask there. All sorts of random stuff. I want to see where I can get an ice cream. I think probably one of these actual legit shops. Oh, there's a Faluda guy right there. Hi, how are you? I think I'm gonna get a Faluda. Yeah, coffee Faluda. That seems uh, that seems my taste right there, a coffee Faluda. Let's get one from here. Hi, I want the coffee Faluda. Coffee. Coffee Faluda, Faluda, this Faluda. Uh, but you, you want coffee flavor? Coffee. Not Kulfi coffee, Kulfi. Kulfi, Kulfi, Kulfi yeah. yeah, Kulfi, Kulfi, that's how you pronounce it, Kulfi, not yeah. Kulfi, Kulfi. Uh, what is the best one? You can take pista, mango, kesar, uh, kesar is saffron. Oh, kesar is saffron, okay, I'll have the saffron Kulfi Faluda, please, 150 kesar rupees. It's my Kulfi Faluda, oh, it looks like I'm getting some kind of condensed milk. And, oh, it looks like little basil seed jellies. Yeah. Some orange syrup. Well, that's the queso, that's the saffron. Yeah, it's that's the saffron syrup. And some amul milk. It looks like amul gold. And I think he's gonna throw in some chunks of kulfi into that. I don't know how to, I've been pronouncing it kulfi for like four years, five years. I think it's kulf, kulfi. Chunks of Kofi Indian ice cream, guys. All of that, I'm getting all of that. Wow, that's loads. <laughs> okay, that's fine. No, I don't, I don't want that bit. Yeah, just making sure that doesn't go in. Okay, so that's it. Or more stuff is getting put in, or more uh, saffron, more of the queser syrup. Okay, that's good. Okay, Danivad, thank you. Okay, check that out, guys. Kesar Kulfi Faluda, amazing. Hi, how are you? I see you on YouTube. YouTube. Okay, good. Okay. okay, I'm making a YouTube video right now. Ah, no, it's okay. Today, just walking. Okay. Okay, let's give this a taste. I got a chunk of the Kulfi. Oh. Wow! So dairy and sweet, and I'm really tasting that saffron flavor. Probably artificial, probably isn't real saffron in there, it's a very expensive. 
a very expensive ingredient, but it tastes like saffron, it tastes nice. Intensely sweet. You see he put the um, he put the condensed milk in there, guys. Intensely, intensely sweet. Okay. Loads of people getting boat rides here. As you can see, these guys all queuing up. They got their life vests on. They're all queuing up to uh, get a boat ride. So yeah. Nobody here. Hey, Hi, how are you? Nobody here swimming, but they are going for they're enjoying the sea because they're gonna go out and go for a they're gonna go out and go for a boat ride. Where are you guys from? You're from Assam. Assam! Assam! Okay, Assam, good tea, good chai and Assam, okay. okay. Yes, okay. Yeah. Every time I get tea here, I'm asking for a Sam tea and they bring me a tea that's delicious. So that's a tip for you when in India, they'll always, if you ask for tea, they'll say, what kind? Do you want Darjeeling tea, Assam tea, this tea, that tea? Usually I say Assam or Darjeeling. Those are, those are the good ones. And this is a good, a good, good salute. Ah, yum, yum. And all these guys that just kind of Hanging out. Oh, they've got proper shoes on. They need to watch out. They have to like back up. Your man enjoying this with the the water shoes. Yeah, but there's like a lot of people that just hang around. They just stand there, really, just standing, doing nothing. They're not drinking. They're not really doing anything. They're just kind of like loitering. I always wonder what the enjoyment is in that. You know, like the group of guys there, like just standing, just standing with their hands in their pockets, wearing jeans and a shirt at the beach. I don't know, maybe they're, maybe they're chilling and they're enjoying it. I don't know. I like to go for walks, guys. I like to go for walks. I'm going to walk the length of this beach, I think. I don't know how far it goes. It goes pretty far, but I'm going to, I'm just going to keep walking. Oh, wow, there are people swimming. So this is the area. This is the area where people are actually swimming, guys. I take it back. I told you Indians couldn't swim. Those guys seem to be swimming. It is like... It's a, lot of, it's a lot of guys, but it's less than 1% of the people here, as you can see. But some people can and do swim in this, guys. I think I'm only, uh, I'm only going to dip my feet. Yeah, like I said, a city beach. A city beach isn't somewhere I want to, uh, you know, be getting water in my eyes, in my mouth, in my nose. That kind of thing. There's a hotel there, Citizen Hotel. They do seem to have direct access onto the beach right there so they were telling me fibs at the jw marriott they told me it was the only hotel maybe it's the only good hotel that has direct access to the beach guys maybe it's the only good hotel but yeah that looks like a cheap hotel there looks like a cheap hotel has direct access to the beach as well so maybe check that one out maybe check that one out if you want a budget version of this trip guys the citizen hotel wow i've committed to walking the length of this have a Hi, how are you? Are you a subscriber? You're my subscriber? Yeah. Okay, nice one. How are you? Yeah, and that looks like it is uh, someone's mansion right there. There's a security guard along the walls. But it looks like it's just one person's big house. Some billionaire or something. Like that. That's what I've seen as I was driving up that strip on the other side. I'd see these like four or five story apartment buildings and I would see like individual houses like that. Okay, I give up guys, I give up. I consulted Google Maps and I'm halfway between the end and my hotel. So I've got twice as long as I've just done to go to get to the end. I think I'm going to head back up. Hi guys, how are you? I think I'm going to head back up that way. There seems to be more action there anyway. Two, hours, two minutes. Two minutes for what? No, I'm just asking. Can it's you a Bible? Yeah. Ah, no, thank you. It's no, no, okay. I'm not selling. Ah, it's this okay. This is for myself. Okay, God bless you. Okay. I'm just asking you. from which country you are. Ah, it's okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I spotted that one right away. Like, uh, see, that's experience, guys. That's experience. I've seen that uh, book shape thing in his hand. That's a Bible. You're, uh, you're going to try and convert me to something. Some uh, sect of Christianity that, I don't know, they have here. But, yeah, see, experience guys, experience. Hi, how are you, cricketer? Yeah. You good at bowling? No. No? 
Okay, where's bowling? Okay, the, the wee man is bowling here. Fast bowler, fast bowler. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, bye bye, okay, okay. It's if I know what's going on in cricket. I barely know the rules, guys. Okay, I'm gonna steal this guy's football. Oh, steal this guy's football. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, everyone enjoying themselves. This Sunday, this will be most people's day off, so it's probably not this busy on other days of the week. Yeah, yeah. Guys, cheeky, cheeky little sod. Yeah, this looks to be about the busiest part because that's where everybody's coming in. Here, you can see there's some massive entranceway to this beach. I think people can also come in from where those restaurants are as well. But this place is packed guys, absolutely packed with people. Okay, so I'm back. Guys, I almost walked past it. I was, uh, <laughs> I was still about there when I realised. Tomorrow I'll go and check out that area of the beach and then the area off the beach and all that. But for now, I think I'm going to end the day. It is still early, but I had to wake up early to fly here to Mumbai, so I'm going to have an early night. But not before, I have a swim, guys. Join me for a end of day dip in the hotel swimming pool. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. All to myself as well, guys. All to your man's self. And it's cool, I could do some nice lengths here. I could do some, uh, oh, it's like a cross. Check it out, guys, it's like a cross. I can do left and right, up and down. All around, yes. Oh, guys, and over here, there's a kind of chill area that's kind of hidden away. I hadn't noticed that before. If you wanted just a almost private area, not really a private area because you've got everybody looking down on you. But if you wanted a wee chill area to hang out, that would be the place. And the pond back there has got loads of koi fish and all that. That's nice. And this is nice in general. Your man loves getting a luxury hotel swimming pool to himself. I get so lucky in these situations, guys. Usually because I'm traveling in countries where people don't swim. <laughs> That's why. But um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy this pool for a good, well, until the sun sets. It's probably gonna be another like half an hour, 45 minutes. It's just perfect for your man. Can enjoy being out in the sun without getting burnt. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. Maybe at the hotel breakfast, or maybe we'll go out and find some popular local joint for breakfast and explore a local area as well. Guys, that's it for today for the vlog, but the vlog will be continued, as always. I wouldn't leave you hanging like that, would I? No, I wouldn't. Yes. Okay, breakfast time, and I'm one of the first, I think I'm the second person here. Guys, I'm the second person here for breakfast. Hi, room 540. Okay. Okay, I can sit anywhere, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look at what's on offer here then, guys. Good morning. Oh, that guy's just delivered some vada. Medu vada. And pakora. Okay. It's like the Indian food here. Steam deadly. And all that. Let's see. Sambar. And I think more idlis. Okay. Probably gonna go for that. Probably gonna go for the South Indian breakfast. That's always, that always makes me feel good. Got a load of fruit, a load of vegetables as well. Okay, get some of that and stay healthy. Guys, what else? Is this Western food here? It's some stuff that I don't know what it is. There's no, there's no signs or anything, so. Looks like different kinds of dal, actually. Oh, okay. Hi, good morning. Yeah, seeing if there is any Western food. Oh, in fact, right here, we've got some bacon. And poached citrus fish. And pork sausages, okay. That's uh, 
Oh, I've tried them omelettes as well. And chicken sausages and hash browns and all that. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a light Indian breakfast and a light Western breakfast. Yeah, they've got big beans, grilled vegetables. Okay, okay guys. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to uh, get a table and then get a plate each of Indian and Western. Okay, that's my omelette. Thank you so much. Okay, so I've got a nice fresh omelette with cheese. Oh, that looks delicious. I've got the rest of the Western breakfast there. We've got the pork bacon, pork sausages, baked beans. Yeah, it's not often that you get pork sausages in these hotels. It's usually chicken sausages, so pork is appreciated. And then, yeah, I always gotta have that. If I'm having breakfast in India, I gotta have the idli and the sambar, um, not the sambar, the, the vada, the vada as well. I'm not having it with sambar, there was sambar there, but I'm having it with the, the chutney that's gonna soak into the, the idlis nicely, but oh, I'm going to get stuck into this omelette right here. Oh, lovely jubbly, just what you need in the morning. Mm. One of the nicer omelettes I've ever had. At a hotel breakfast, the cheese is proper, just like the. Well, is it proper pork sausage? Let's test that out. Mm. It's good, it's good. It's not like the pork sausages we get back home, that's for sure, but it's a lot better than the, those rubbery chicken sausages I'm normally getting at these breakfasts. And the sun just rising. No, it's rising from the other side actually. It sets directly in that direction. That's where my hotel window is facing. But rising from the other side. After I demolish this, I'm gonna go for a, a nice walk on the beach. Oh, that's superb. It's a freshly squeezed pineapple juice. They had, uh, they had labels on all the juices. Juices, juices. Telling you which ones were freshly squeezed. Normally, it's like they just have at these hotel buffets. They'll have like freshly squeezed watermelon juice, and the rest of the stuff will come from a carton. But they did say here are the juices over here. They did say the the orange juice is freshly squeezed, the pineapple and the watermelon as well. And there's a, an apple, beetroot, carrot juice that doesn't say freshly squeezed, so that probably isn't and a healthy juice as well. Oh, probably got a healthy one. There we go, one for my taste buds. One for my taste buds and one for my health. Is there anything Any bad? No, that's fine, thank you. Okay, so with these green juices, the way I always do it is I just try to put it down on a one or just get it out of the way. It's not for my taste, it's for my health. Oh, oh, oh that's revolting. That's absolutely, absolutely revolting. It tastes like kale. Um, I think that's what it is, it is kale. Uh, yeah, that's for your health. That's for your health, guys. Just, just five seconds of misery and it's done. All the nutrients are in your body. Then you can get on and enjoy your streaky bacon and all that. It is actually possible to have your breakfast in the executive lounge if you have lounge access at this hotel. It'd be a more, uh, I would probably actually do that if I was coming for breakfast at like 9.30 or something when it was gonna be, like if this area was gonna be packed like sometimes these hotel buffets can be like a zoo. If it was gonna be like that, then I would go to the executive lounge and have like a nice quiet breakfast with probably just like a small selection of the main breakfast items. They wouldn't have this big spread. That's the uh, that's the difference. But uh, I've come for this breakfast at 6.30 a.m. so it's quiet. Perfect, absolutely perfect time to come. If you can wake up early enough, which usually I can. There we go. Your man's tea milkshake. Right there. Lovely jubbly.
Uh, there is a dosa station over there. I can hear the dosas frying up, actually. Yeah, that man over there is doing the doing the dosas. I don't think I could have managed a dosa after this. Guys, I like to keep it nice and light at breakfast time. So, yeah, let's get wired into these soft, soft Edleys right here. Lovely. If I was feeling like an even lighter breakfast, I would probably just go for this one rather than the Western. If I had to choose between them, this is uh, yeah, this stuff. It's so so easily digestible and just feels so nice in your stomach. Afterwards, you feel good always after eating the dosa or the idli. They're made from the same ingredient. superb guys that was superb now let's walk it off let's walk it off and for a nice early morning stroll along the beach ah this is nice isn't it guys this is nice juhu beach on a monday morning very different to a sunday afternoon yesterday guys yesterday i was down there and there was about ten thousand people all packed together and now there's just I don't know maybe a few hundred people just going for their early morning stroll look at this probably people before they go to work if they live in this area they just go for a stroll along the beach get that early morning exercise in that fresh air that peace it's peaceful it's a totally different vibe from yesterday from uh, Sunday afternoon the vibe is completely different this is a uh, this is nice guys, this is nice. Okay, peaceful walk along the beach with my Cox Z. Life is good guys, life is good. Oh, and this guy's selling coconuts. How much? 70 or 80. Uh, 70 or 80, yes. huh? Uh, small one or 70? Yes, Okay, I'll take the small one please, 70. Oh. <laughs> I just uh, got sprayed on the arm there. Yes. Okay. Twenty. If you change, 20. 20. Let me see if I got twenty. Yes. Oh yeah, I do. I got twenty. Can you? Okay, don't even add, don't even add. Yes. Okay, so I have exchanged my Coke Zero for a fresh coconut. Maybe I'll just sit down here and enjoy it then uh, I've got somewhere to chuck it afterwards I could walk I could walk and sit but there's nowhere for me to throw this away so I'll just consume it right here now this one doesn't taste sweet at all it's weird uh, yeah like zero sweetness yum yum okay good got somewhere to chuck it as well that was nice and easy Okay, now hands free, I will continue walking down this beach, or walking up this beach, that's the uh, the south end there, this is the north end. I don't know how, this, how far this goes, but it looks like if you keep walking, eventually you're gonna get to some kind of like um, industrial kind of shipping area or something like that up there, but this area is very nice. People walking their dogs or running, running their dog, she's running her dog, or the dog's running her. <laughs> The dog's taking the owner for the walk there. But yeah, like hopefully, I don't see any dog dumpings around or anything. So I guess these dog owners must be responsible. I haven't stepped on any dog dumpings just yet. Got a guy just sitting meditating there. Just chilling. Oh, cut it. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> okay, I caught it for him and then he batted that away again. <laughs> and I'm near the end of the beach here and this area is covered in trash. So this area doesn't get cleaned up as much as down there, I guess. This is probably all uh, garbage that's been washed up by the sea. But I think down there, near the hotels and all that, near the nice apartments, 
I've seen a tractor go past um, full of garbage, so people are clearing up down there, but not really up here in this area. I think this might be belonging to the fishermen or whatever. I see some like fish, fishing boats there. Some stray dogs. I think this guy's feeding the dogs, feeding the beach dogs, and the crows. The crows are uh, the crows are waiting for some himself. But that's nice. It looks like he feeds the uh, the beach dogs, and it looks like this is where the local fishermen are living here. These kind of like makeshift shanty town homes right here. And I've reached the end of Juhu Beach. This is where it ends according to Google Maps and there's another beach over there. I might actually be able to get to it directly if I walk underneath this pier right here. That one is called Versova Beach. But yeah, right here at the very north part of Juhu Beach there is absolutely nothing going on guys. There is absolutely no reason to walk all the way up here unless you like a bit of exercise like your man. Now I've got a little stream to uh, to cross. Oh, yeah, it's not deep. And then uh, see if I can get to this next beach. Ah, yes, it's a whole other beach over here, guys. This is Versova Beach. So, yeah, it looks like a lot less developed than the Juhu area, but it looks like the same kind of thing. It's just apartment buildings and all that kind of nice residential area for people that want to live next to the beach. Yeah, no real point in me walking up there. I'm going to walk back to my hotel and then I will walk out in the afternoon and go explore this uh, Juhu area. I've only really explored the beach, this side of the hotel. I haven't explored the other side, the actual streets. So we'll do that.